So this is uh, something you've probably seen before and heard of, but maybe a view that you don't typically get to see. But what is what is this little cutie? Or there's two little cuties here. Pretty, pretty uh, pictures, but not pretty in your body. Like most things in pathology. Does anyone recognize these? I'll show you more photos. And if you have an idea, you can shout it out. Giardia. Giardia, very good. So does anyone know how did, how did uh, this preparation get made? I did not make this preparation. Uh, a really amazing mentor of mine um, shared this slide with me when I was a resident. Uh, Ashok uh, Balsavar, who unfortunately passed away a couple years ago, but he was just such a wonderful, wonderful man and a wonderful pathologist. Uh, one of my co-residents, uh, Sarah Galfioni, liked to say he's a prince among men. And I think that was such an apt description of him. He's someone I never saw lose his temper. I never saw him like flustered. He was just always calm and kind. And I, I wish I could could be at that level. Uh, my my ability to deal with stress is is not at that level yet, unfortunately. It probably never will be. This is Giardia. So anyway, how did how did this uh, this um, preparation get made? Does anyone know? It's kind of cool. You can do it in your own lab if you want. So this is a cytospin, okay? And what happened is basically a regular GI biopsy that ended up being Giardia had formalin left in it. And so Dr. Balsiver took the, the, um, the formalin and had it spun down as a cytospin. And then it produced this incredible slide where we get to see a much nicer view of the organism. So let me uh, show you though some alternative uh, stuff. So these are, this is my post about it here on Kiko. And I've got some, uh, some links to additional information here. And I'm going to show you a couple of those. So here is uh, from my friend Daniel Skipper on Twitter or X now. I, I'm still not going to call it X. I'm sorry, Elon. Uh, but but it, it's always going to be Twitter to me. Just been doing it for too long. So this is maybe the view most of us are more familiar with, right? And I know I do skin and bone and soft tissue normally, but I still like weird organisms even in other places like the GI tract. So, so here's what we see in the, the small bowel here. We've got the villi. And then in between the villi, we've got the little fallen leaves, right? Kind of hanging out there in the space so you got to always look in the spaces there and make sure you're not missing stuff and that's the closer view so so uh you know that that's what i think we're used to seeing in pathology on a regular h and e but a cytospin gives us this this kind of image that's down here from the cdc the flat view of the trophozoite where you can see the two little they look like little eyeballs right the two little nuclei or whatever they are so uh that's uh, that's pretty cool a uh, trick to get a nice pretty uh slide for teaching if if nothing else but uh, that's uh, more, more typical of what we'd see uh, in uh, regular pathology practice. And then um, here's an example. This came from the Institute of Tropical Medicine in Antwerp and uh, was tweeted by Parasite Gal, Bobby Pritt, who is an incredible uh, pathologist focused on infectious disease, parasites. If you don't follow her on Twitter or also her blog, which I'll show you in a second, you're missing out. She posts some wild, crazy, awesome stuff if you like infectious disease and creepy crawly stuff. So that's called the falling leaf type of motility. So that kind of that swaying, twisting motion from those uh, little uh, the uh, little flagella there behind the uh, organism. So it kind of propels them around. So this is why we don't like to drink stream water because you do not want to get this because it's bad diarrhea and cramping and gas and, and abdominal pain. All right, but they sure are cute, aren't they? All right, and then uh, here's some more info. Again, you can check out on uh, uh, Creepy, Dreadful, Wonderful Parasites, which is Bobby Pritt's blog. Uh, she does not pay me anything. I'm just a big fan, and uh, I love to promote her content. I've learned so much from her over the years. All right, excellent. Any questions about uh, Giardia? Okay. 